Australia's pet food industry is a multi-billion dollar business. Doting owners are bombarded with a myriad of brands, all claiming special benefits for their beloved animals. But the industry is under fire after revelations that dozens of dogs contracted an incurable condition after eating one popular brand of food. Now more owners have come forward complaining about other pet foods causing illness. Angelique Dinellon reports. Come on, come. Huh? Alice, come on. Good kids. Christine Fry has her hands full, raising this litter of excitable Great Danes. Good girl. Good kids. It's a job made harder because the puppy's mother has megrosophagus. Mabel is one of more than 70 dogs across the country struck down with the debilitating condition after eating popular dry dog food, advanced Dermacare. We just don't know what she's going to be like in the future. She's coping well at the moment, um, but we're not sure. For the rare condition to strike Sit. once is devastating for any owner. For Christine Fry, it's happened twice. He was just magnificent, um, just a beautiful creature, beautiful nature. Just lovely to have around. Vincent was Christine Fry's pride and joy. She was forced to euthanise her prized show dog at the start of the year. He too had megrosophagus and was fed advanced Dermacare. He went from a dog of 85 kilos approximately down to about 62 kilos within just just over two, think, two weeks, I think it would have been. So pretty horrendous to watch. I just couldn't do it to him anymore. I couldn't see him suffer any more than what he'd already done. These are the faces of other dogs that ate advanced Dermacare and have megaesophagus. The incurable and potentially fatal condition causes a dog's esophagus to lose its elasticity, causing food to get stuck and then regurgitated. <laughs> Mars Pet Care makes advanced Dermacare. It was first alerted to a potential problem in December when nine Victoria police dogs that ate the food were diagnosed with megaesophagus. The product was pulled off shelves at the end of March, three months later. Why don't pet food companies recall food quickly? That's easy. At first they're in denial and secondly they don't want to lose money. University researchers believe there is a link between advanced Dermacare and the spike in megaesophagus cases, but are yet to scientifically prove it. In this case, the pet food company has voluntarily withdrawn and they're actively participating in resolving the issue, which is fantastic and we commend them on. I find it really hard to believe that the company didn't come forward and recall this earlier, because while Vincent was sick, I was still feeding him advanced Dermacare and I was continuing to feed Mabel advanced Dermacare as well. Pet food is a growth industry. More than 60% of Australian households own a pet and spend more than $4 billion a year feeding them. Product recalls are almost unheard of. Veterinarian Richard Malik argues that's a sign that self-regulation is failing and he links that to the alleged influence of big pet food companies. There is a lot of pressure on vets to keep quiet or at least n n not to put up a red flag that there might be a problem with a particular food or treat. A lot of vets sell pet food, including the food that caused the megaesophagus in dogs. A lot of universities get free pet food. The AVA gets sponsorship from pet food companies. The vet's peak body rejects any conflict of interest. I think in, we're fortunate to have a good relationship with them, but we're clear about what the boundaries of those relationships are. It's not just megaesophagus and advanced Dermacare. Now owners are complaining that other foods are making pets sick. Well, I just basically brought this bag home, um, just opened it up, and as you can see, in there, it's just mouldy. 
it's mould all the way through it. Ruth Quick recently bought this bag of Applaus dry dog food with an expiry date of May next year. She soon learned other owners had found mould too. I know of at least one person's dog who um, um, basically ate about half the packet of um, Applaus and became ill for about a good week um, with diarrhoea and just being very unwell. There are no laws governing pet food safety, only a voluntary standard. Ruth alerted the manufacturer of Applause MPM products, which conceded a problem in the manufacturing process at their Australian plant. She was stunned to learn the company was under no obligation to issue a public recall. That was one of the things I said to him was, you know, well, what about the people who have already purchased the bags? It's not the first time there's been an incident with Applause dog food. MPM Products has told 7.30 its kibble was accidentally contaminated with coloured plastic two years ago after a supplier failed to remove plastic ID tags from chicken carcasses before processing. There was no public recall. Ideally, in the ideal world, uh, recalls would be undertaken really quickly and really efficiently. One of the challenges with recalls is that it's, it's more clarity in retrospect, so it's, it's easy to look back and, and ask the questions as to why things weren't recalled. With owners having no regulator to turn to, many take to social media to complain about pet food. One brand which has owners angry is Baxter's, with dozens of people on Facebook claiming it's caused vomiting and diarrhoea in their pets, and in a few cases, seizures and paralysis. The product is sold by Woolworths. It's offered some owners who've complained gift cards. The company says Baxter's is safe and has been quality tested multiple times. No one was available for an interview. Would you feed your dog Baxter's? We have a great opportunity here to uh, provide pet owners with a whole variety of different pet foods. And uh, I don't think what I feed my pet is really a key issue here. The Federal Agriculture Minister, David Littleproud, declined 7.30's request for an interview, but says he's seeking state and industry support for a review into pet food manufacturing. There have been so many examples over the last 10 years of toxicity from food that the government must act to do something. To not act is to put their head in the sand. So we're all always open to what could be done better. Hey, where is he? Where is he? Christine Fry worries about Mabel's health after losing her beloved Vincent. For now, Mars Pet Care has offered to reimburse owners' vet bills and pay the cost of a new dog to replace those euthanised. The company has declined repeated requests for an interview. Look, I don't believe that they did anything malicious. Um, I believe that they should be accountable and I think that uh, dog foods in general, there should be some regulations and I think government needs to get on board uh, before we lose any more dogs to something else. Angelique Zanellan reporting.